Hey everybody, well, um, hopefully you can see that my lighting's improved a little bit this time. Um, I've changed the bulbs in my lamps to uh, different ones and, and it seems a bit better. I haven't even got this light on up here today. Uh, so let me know uh, let me know if it looks better to you guys. Um, I'll let you uh, let you be the judges. Today we're gonna um, do a quick review of an interesting snuff, which is the Freeborg and Treyer F and T and it's Bordeaux. And I find this snuff hard to hard to place really. It's a very, very sort of floral, really scented snuff. I, I really like the smell of it and um, it really does stick with you after you've taken some. It just stays there for absolutely ages. So, uh, you know, it's a nice thing. If you, I mean, if you like the smell of it and you're taking some, it sticks around for a really long time. So uh, I'll just move this light here and give you a, a close up of what it looks like. Sort of a medium dark brown. And it's really moist. I mean, I mean it's just so sp springy. I mean, look at all that, my finger. So it's a really nice, easy snuff to take. It's just, you know, pinch a bit in there and you're laughing, it doesn't matter how hard you sniff. The only problem with these is, I love these little jars or tins, but you know, once you've got past the first sort of half inch down, it's hard to pinch it out. So what I've started doing is, if you use your finger to scoop some up and then you can pinch it in your fingers like that, and it's a bit easier than trying to pinch it all the way down. Or use a snuff spoon if you've got one. Let's get a bit more on that one. Mm. I mean, that's such a it's such a, a complex snuff. It's really nice. So floral. Um, and what the description of this one says, it's a blend of Zimbabwe dark fired and flu cured stem tobacco. Which I don't, I don't know an awful lot about what that means, but uh, it certainly smells nice. Um, it's got in it violet, geranium, lemon, may blossom, tonkin and musk. Now, if you can tell me what tonkin is without Googling it, I'll be impressed because I've got no idea. But it certainly makes for a real complex sort of concoction, concoction of flavours in your, in your nose. It's, oh, it's lovely. I mean, uh, there's a little bit of a burn with this one, I think more than the other F and T's, but um, I've not really tried any of the others, so I can't personally compare. I do like this, so it's just, uh, there's just so many different aspects of it going on that it's really, really worth a try. It's not like anything I've ever had before. Um, the other ones that I've got that are sort of floral like this, I mean there's the rose, I've tried the rose, um, let me just grab them out here, yeah, Wilson's of Shara Rose, which is in one of my jars, and then um, I've got the, the Kendall, Garth and Hogarth, uh, Ken, uh, Ken, uh, sorry, English Rose this one, and uh, these are sort of uh, my closest Closest ones to the, to the Bordeaux. I suppose the other one, there's the jasmine as well, which is quite a nice one. But it's still, it's such a complex mixture of flavours, this Bordeaux. Um, that it's in a, a league of its own, really, in terms of complexity. But it's a really nice one. It sticks around in there for such a long time that, um, you know, you take a, a pinch or two and it just stays with you for ages and ages. So it's a really nice one in that sense. Um, so I definitely recommend trying it. If you've not tried it before, uh, you know, why not give it a go and um, see what you think. Tell me what you think if you have tried it. Um, I'd be interested to find out how much you guys like it. I've heard good things really. I've not heard many negatives about it. So so let me know, especially if you don't like it. Let me know why as well. Um, so yeah, that's the Free Morgan Tray of Bordeaux. Uh, really nice snuff in a lovely little tin. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to do this video to test my lighting and just to give you a quick review. So let me know how the lights are, whether it needs less or more. 
Um, you know, whatever. Just drop me a comment. It's nice to hear from you. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.